summer, I decided at last to do the renovation of the living room and to do the deco I wanted to do at the beginning when I arrived in this apartment six years ago. Everything had to be painted properly and all the problems on the ceilings, the walls had to be fixed. So I had to repaint everything from the ceiling to the floor. I only left the wallpaper as it is because I adore this wallpaper and I didn't want to change it. So a lot of problems had to be fixed on the ceiling molding, the radiator had never been properly painted, my cat damaged a lot of wallpapers too, so I had to take the time to do it properly and to paint everything. The ceiling was not too bad. I had to fix and paint the molding because the paint had been uh, gone at few places and it had to be fixed. Clochette had done a lot of mischiefs on my wallpapers as you may have seen in some videos and for that I used my beloved mulberry paper and I painted on it with the colors of the wallpaper. And I think it's pretty hard to see where I painted. It depends on the light, of course, but I'm pretty satisfied and happy with the final result. Okay, so this is um, the beginning of the golden deco I'm doing. It's not the end. Uh, I added two coats on those, but I'm, I didn't uh, add the final coat because I don't want them to be so bright. It's a little too bright for me uh, compared to the wallpaper. It looks a tiny bit fake, I would say, tiny bit tacky or a little too bright. I want them to be a little more subtle than that, but it's much better. I have one gold of a certain color, rich gold, and another gold, which is old gold. I have rich gold and old gold, uh, a coat of each, and then I'm going to add some ivory color, which is the same. It's not exactly white, actually, the white I have. It's more like a slightly warmer white. And those are the two I, I bought in, my, in the shop where I bought all my paint, which are not, by the way, I don't use any shock paint or anything like that at all. I, I'm, I'm, I try this for the, for the studio and I don't like them. I can say now after using them for, since 2018 I did my, my studio, I don't like shock paint. <laughs> it's not for me. I prefer classic paints. So here I have old gold and this one. And I'm going to have, the, one is more yellow, one is more pink a little. Which, the thing which took me very long is I had to re redo on top of the ceiling. Of course, we paint the molding, but we do the cutting of the wallpaper. So the person who did my wallpaper many years ago when I arrived, I thought it would be too hard for me. So I took someone to do it and it was a catastrophe. And he covered all the electrical, electrical cords and everything, boxes, sort of boxes for the electrical cables with wallpaper. And you probably had, have seen that in my videos. It was a catastrophe. It was, you never do that. Yeah? When you have wallpapers, you don't cover anything like that. So I had to remove them, cut them the best I could and paint in white, well, the electrical cables or electrical boxes. 
so those, this thing took me a long time because it, the ceiling is very high, I had to be on top of my ladder and it's not very comfortable, so you work really slowly. I wanted to add a sophisticated 18th century touch to this room and paint all the wood panels with some gold mouldings. For the gold, I added two coats of the different golds. I had the rich gold and the old gold on each wood molding. And here the result was really too bright. I wanted some, something a little more soft. So I added some dry brushing of the ivory paint I had for the entire living room. It's not complete white actually, it's an ivory color. And it's not chalk paint, as I mentioned earlier. It's a classic water paint for the wall, which is something I, I much prefer actually to any other sort of paint, especially chalk paint. So I did that and I, it softened a lot the gold. And I And as usual, the masking tape created a lot of problems, whether I use the expensive masking tapes or the cheapest one, uh, whether I have too much paint gone or I have a lot of drippings, well, I had to paint with a small brush all the golden parts, absolutely all of them. And this step was probably the most time consuming of the entire renovation. It took a long, long time to fix all that properly, but the result is pretty nice. There are still a lot of golden reflection, but it's a little less intense. Then, after the renovation was completed, it was time to reorganize the living room and enjoy the final result.
after redoing the living room, I just decided it would be fun to change a bit the organization. So you have seen the little um, console Louis XVI, Louis XVI style. I found it in uh, Brocante in my town last a couple of weeks ago for really nothing. So it's not an antique. So people often ask me online if I have, if I own a lot of antiques. And in French, the word antiquité, which is the translation of antiques, is very specific. It means you have something, a piece of furniture, which has been created, for example, in the 18th century. Created in the 18th century, made with the wood from this time, not a copy. And these pieces of furniture, for example, this antiquité that you can buy in an antique shop, are extremely expensive. They are not something you can buy for 20 euro, 30 euro, 40 euro. A real antiquité is something which is, of course, very pricey because there is a history behind it, all that. Um, the word antiquité here is very specific. You don't use it for anything which is three or four years old or anything like that. And um, um, antique shop, a magasin antiquité, it's something where you only have extremely valued pieces, very well chosen and coming from the time. It can be 19th century too, but it would be really specific and the piece of furniture have an, has an history. So I also removed the table, the ta round table uh, that I had before behind it. You have seen it a lot in my videos. It is now in the kitchen because I, I needed a, a table in the kitchen. And I, I thought it's just the most boring purchase you have to do. And I didn't want to, I tried to find things, but I, I couldn't decide myself to buy anything. And I thought, after all, I'm going to put back this table in the kitchen and see how it works and only buy new chairs, which are a little thicker than, than the one I had. And I, I'm trying that and so far I think it's going to work because I'm going to have other pieces of furniture in the, in the kitchen too. And I will show you the update of the kitchen in the upcoming weeks, a month, you're going to see, and you're going to see it also with my seasonal displays. So this is another thing that changed. Uh, I put the desk also here. The desk, I plan to paint it. It is purple now, it was its original color. It's my father who made it for me many, 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 many years ago. And it was a desk where it worked and I changed it in a sort of bookshelves. But now the color doesn't work really well. I would like something lighter, probably dark gray. I think something in the gray palette, probably. I wanted to have more light, more gold. I think the gold give really something festive and sophisticated and also light and cheerful, really. I think when I see the gold reflection, to me, it completely changed the mood of the room, really. And I also have this table now that I had bought at the beginning when I arrived in this apartment. And it was, uh, the, the table of Clochette where she has all her bed and things and I put it on, in another sort of chair she had too. She had a big, big organization for her bed. And I decided that this table is big enough to be used as a real table. So I put it back here, especially for tea time or that. I think it's quite nice to have it here uh, when I receive my guest and I do that quite a bit. So the other table was too, a little too small. And the other table has been put behind it. So it's quite fun when you renovate to change a bit the decor, the disposition, and see how I'm going to improve it. And I think now it works a little better. I just like it very much like that. And I'm going, of course, also to uh, do some nice curtains uh, because I also removed the desk from the between the windows to have some space to put some nice, thick, heavy curtains which will match really well with the room and also be useful for the winter season. Thank you very much for watching this little renovation update. So it's not spectacular in any way what I've done but I'm so pleased because it's, for me it makes a big difference to have most of the little problems fixed in this room. There are so many problems. The radiator now is all white and clean and it's good now because it's obviously I don't use the radiator. We have close to 40 degrees outside, it's 36, 37 today Celsius, so it's really, really warm. I should have done that six years ago, so it took me six years really to take the time to do it, but I'm so happy I've done it. And every time we do this sort of big home thing we are a little procrastinating or not deciding to do when once we do them we are so so happy i think i'm now i'm enjoying my living room every day and i think oh, it's so nice and i see how i'm going to make it evolve with bookshelves with uh, things on the walls and yes making it a very pleasant warm and cozy room so hope it has inspired you too maybe to change something in your home or, or add a little 18th century castle touch to your space. Now I'm back to my art, my projects, and 
the new Halloween workshop, which will arrive in September. It's not going to arrive now because I only did that for, for, 13, for almost 14 days, the home innovation. When you are on your own and you are slow, it takes time. So I didn't do anything else, only that. So when you are a slow coach, that's how, it, how long it takes. But yes, I will keep you updated with all my uh, things coming, the new Halloween workshop, all my art in progress, uh, the white cat update, I need to share a white cat update on the project, and also my tea video, which is late, but it's going to come. Hope you are enjoying this end of summer or your winter if you are in the South Hemisphere, and I will see you very soon.